guys welcome back to the channel so before we get into this i'm gonna put the comment of the day up if you guys want to take part in that all you have to do is leave a comment and i randomly choose one from my new notifications so today we are back with generations and our girl is very very much pregnant as you guys can tell so something i thought was very cute that happened this morning before they got all ready and it is pouring on us by the way we were coming here to the festival and it started to pour while we were on our way here but we're still going to try to enjoy it just a little bit because they do want to take a greeting card photo and i thought it would be kind of cute but aaron over here yeah look what he got he got the wish to marry Abby. How freaking cute is that? I also went ahead and had him quit his job because he was not getting the most out of his physical education education degree. So I am going to have him rejoin that career really quickly um, because I want to make sure he is making, you know, the money he should be making with his degree because he was only making 25 simoleons per hour. Julian Hardy is, oh, <laughs> girl, we're not interested either, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> but we are a toddler sports coach for 57 simoleons per hour, which sounds way, way better. Uh, but yeah, Jolene's not interested, but guess what? We're not either. So we are a level three starting out, which is fantastic. So we're making a little bit more money. It makes much more sense because obviously he has a degree, so we have to go ahead and use it. But they both have a want to take a greeting card photo which i'm trying to figure out here it is like i'm trying to figure out where it is so oh, no 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 i want to take a greeting card photo together and then we need to also take one with felix as well felix is actually going over to somebody else's house and i gave him a makeover because i was just kind of ready for something different for him so we did give him a makeover he wants to sign up for an after school activity which we can do um oh my goodness hold what on happening? what is happening because this is surely not your girlfriend i need to see what he does i need to see what he does oh did you he turned her down he turned her down okay as you should okay i guess we're raising raising him good um he's just asking basic stuff look at these cats oh <gasps> baby we have uh, nova and ginger oh my god i love the name nova okay we got our photo let's see there's their cute little photo oh we're gonna have to hang that up in the house for freaking sure so that was super super awkward of her uh so on that note i think we're going to just you know leave he doesn't want to join an after school activity so let's have him sign up for sim food class um i kind of also want to sign him up for driving lessons but i also kind of want her to you know give him the driving lessons she is searching for eggs she wants to have a great date watch a movie uh collect festival tickets which i think we're just about to do when we pick those up there we go uh and then i'm gonna lock in have a great day because i hope that we do he is also <laughs> looking for festival eggs which is adorable he wants to have his face painted and reach level five of his career which I am hoping he will do, but they're just kind of having a day together, even though it is pouring down rain and they're soaking wet, they are going to make the best of it. I don't know if she actually picked up an egg. It doesn't look like either one of them actually have picked up an egg. Maybe she just now found one. Did we find one this time? No? Okay. I never know, like, when they pick them up. I guess the festival eggs are just special ones. Oh my god, maybe we, maybe we shouldn't be out here, because it is raining pretty hard so maybe we should go like to a restaurant or something but i'm curious if she is going to find a festival egg i don't know this one's shining are they all shining does that mean that they're the special festival eggs i couldn't tell you let's see what happens when she grabs that one no she still didn't get one i don't think he has i don't think he has either so i'm gonna have them go ahead and stop so that we can maybe get inside somewhere um she did want to see a movie where the heck is the theater all the way over here so yeah let's go ahead and attend movie with date let's go watch starship that sounds fun you guys i have been sitting here waiting for them to come out of the movie and this entire time he has been standing out here and i didn't even realize it was seth and i'm like what in the heck is this dude standing here for Seth has been standing here this entire time that we were in the movie. And now he's moving. He has not... Okay. I have to know. I have to know what what this is about. Like, what are you coming over here 
to say. He's Oh. Oh. Okay. This is quite awkward. <laughs> quite freaking awkward. Uh, and he's bored. He's like, yeah, I don't have time for this. Well, you know what? That was just, I, he's just forever going to be haunting us. I can, I can see that now. Um, should we have them go get some dinner together? I think I am going to have them eat here together, um, on their date. Or actually, no, let's go to the fancy restaurant. Where's the fancy restaurant? Where's the fancy restaurant? Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh, all the way up here. Let's go ahead and eat here with date. We're going to go on a fancy date. Um, yeah, we got to get out of here because I truly... Oh my god, now who's call what do you what do you do? Uh-uh, uh-uh, we're not doing that. Things we are not doing. They're that. finally arriving at the restaurant. Of course, Seth kind of messed up everything, so I had to teleport her here because Aaron was already here. But anyways, they're having their dinner and I am gonna let them stay for dessert. And hopefully they're gonna have a really nice date. Uh, and hopefully Seth doesn't show up here because that was super They're weird. They're finally home from their date and look at how cute he is in his formal outfit. But here is Felix. I didn't even really show you guys his makeover. I just kind of wanted to do something different. I was kind of bored with his look. But look at her cute little belly. Oh my gosh. He is so cute. Okay, like I actually kind of love him. So I think I am going to have them end their night on a little bit of a woohoo because that is all they seem to want to do. That is what they did when they woke up this morning too. And I'm like, okay, so I guess it might not be very hard for us to have, uh, you know, more children, but <laughs> I'm just going to let them end their date on a little woohoo and he's going to go to bed and then we're going to wrap up our date and maybe give, um, I almost said Bubba, um, Barky a little bit of loving, but Otherwise, I think we're just going to wrap up our date and pick up tomorrow and he's going to be going back to work for his first day, technically, because, you know, we quit. But we'll see if he can get a promotion and kind of work on that, too. I just had to take a moment to show you guys this. Like, look at how he's looking at her. I had to take a photo. This is just so freaking cute. Like, I absolutely hope that we have finally found, like the one for us because our girl deserves it so freaking much oh that outfit though that's not Aaron has decided to start his day off by doing some workouts which is totally fine because I know he needs athletic anyways although he has a lot of skills which is quite nice I mean handiness he has a lot of handiness and a lot of athletics so I'm not mad about that that's something that we don't have to work like super strongly on but he does want to work out so i'm gonna let him do that and i'm just kind of getting her ready for the day and kind of see what we get up to she does want to work on her garden which we will probably do but it is pouring down but we do have some plants back here that need to be tended so i will have her do that after she gets some food and we're just kind of basically waiting around for baby to be born because i think i think the baby will be born in this part i'm pretty sure uh, but if not, then we're just kind of, you know, doing the daily thing. I also want your guys' opinion on what we should have her do for work because like I said, the daycare thing will be taking up just way too much time. It'll be way too stressful and that will be all that we're focusing on and I want to focus on like our family life. So I either am going to get her a job and just like a regular career or I even considered downloading the homemaker career and have her just be a stay-at-home mom for the kiddos. So you'll have to let me know in the comments down below what you think that we should have her do, because I could see her doing that, or also being like a teacher, or you know, something along those lines. So you'll have to let How me know. How cute, he decided to come over here and have lunch with us, and he's having spaghetti too. How adorable, did he finish his workout? What is he, oh, he wants to make out with her. We need to purchase those pregnancy books. <gasps> I forgot, he has the, um, tab cast. So I am going to have him go ahead and shop online for books and purchase those books really quick so that he can go ahead and read about them and maybe, maybe her too. But, um, let's do the baby incoming first and then totally preggers. And we're going to come out here with her to work on our garden when my game decides to, you know, unfreeze. There we go. There we go. But we do have some things in the garden, so I want to make sure we can take we care of We also have two death flower plants back here, which I kind of like those flowers. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we have some death flowers back here. I really need to find me a flame fruit. But oh no, hold on. The baby is coming. The baby 
The baby is on the way. Stop reading the books. It's not going to help you now, bro. I always love when the pregnant Sim that's about to pop out a baby is driving, but he's going to be late for work and I probably should have had him take the day off, but I wasn't sure when the baby was going to actually be here because I wanted it to be a surprise what we're having and I'm really rooting for a girl, but you know, we still have other kids to have obviously, but I would really, really love for her to have a girl. So cross your fingers and your toes, guys. We're about to pop out a baby. I know, Ariel, it's very stressful. It's very stressful. Oh my God, you guys, we did have a girl. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So I was gonna look at names that you guys left until I saw that cat's name that was Nova. And honestly, I wanna name her Nova. I was hoping so bad we had a girl so I could name her Nova because I was not prepared for a boy name. Uh, but we are having a girl. We had a girl. So we get to choose some traits. So let's see. I'm going to just randomize and see what we get. Uh, Absent-minded. I'm not a fan of that one. Uh, loves the outdoors. We can keep. And um, what else should we do? Loves the outdoors and friendly. Let's do friendly. That's going to be her traits. And he might just make it in time. And now he's really, like, really ready to get married. So... Let me lock that in. Did she get any want to marry him specifically? Not yet, but I am going to let him go to work because I want to make sure that he does not get like any bad performance or anything. So I'm going to have him head off to work. Barky. Ooh, Barky's finding us stuff. Love that. But she is going to head home with the baby. I'm so excited. Abby is for real walking all the way home in the rain after having a baby. And now we're getting a phone call. I can't imagine. Do I want to know who it is? I mean, I do, but I guess we could find out. I have out. no idea who was calling because she decided, no, I am just going to continue to walk all the way home. And she did. Nova is doing okay, but she's wanting to snuggle her. So let's go ahead and give her a snuggle and play with her. And then we'll put her up here in the crib. And I think we had some mail. So I want to make sure that we get that taken care of. And what is he doing? He wanted to join another after school activity. So I'm considering letting Okay, him. we can do driving lessons. So I am going to have him go ahead and do that because why the heck not? We can still work with it or work on it with him, but I, I'm going to have him sign up for it. So we're going to go put Nova up to bed and then we're going to come out here because I think, yeah, we have some mail. We have bills and I also have some mail I want to grab. And yeah, this is... A pretty like chill part but we've been waiting for for this moment here and honestly Aaron has grown on me quite a bit like quite a bit I think that maybe maybe this will work out I don't know I don't know I'm pretty excited though all right I'm curious what kind of mail we got because I always am interested in the weird love letters that we get Aaron got something from Darlene I find you attractive but I couldn't tell you in person and have we got something from Brandon? Okay, keep an open mind. Okay, well, basically, we don't want we don't want those. Okay, we are not interested. We are hopefully in a pretty serious serious moment here. Uh, but it looks like Barky came out here to um, be neat and pee. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce praise for both of those so that Barky knows that you know he's doing good. Luckily for us, Barky has now gained the neat trait. So no more accidents inside. I am going to let her finish taking care of this garden and get ready to wrap it up right here. In the next part, we will probably try to figure out what we're going to do with her career and her life because I feel like things are maybe starting to fall into place and I definitely don't want, like I said, the daycare career to kind of take over everything because it is a lot of work and it is a lot of focusing on it because it's all day long. So drop in the comments what you think we should do for her. And let me know how you guys feel about Aaron, because so far, I, I'm i kind of obsessed. I think that this could be a super, super cute family, and you know our girl deserves it so, so much. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like on the videos. It does help out my channel, helps push out my videos. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you guys would like to. Turn on your post notifications, all that fun stuff. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.